Welcome to Use Chat GPT to write ale documentation for you. Hey, I'm Eric, and a um, couple of weeks, time is a blur, back, I, uh, I did a video where I, I tried to teach Chat GPT how to write ale code. Um, I actually went pretty well. We finally we, we got some workable code from it. Uh, Generating AL is still not as good as generating Python or C++ or other languages. Um, but it got me thinking, well, writing code is one thing, but how about reading code and understanding code and perhaps producing, producing documentation or, or stuff like that? Can it do that? So um, I thought in this video, that's what we're gonna try. So um, I have a uh, I have a piece of code sitting here. Um, this is just I've been I'm maybe you saw the video on on the toolbox where I'm trying to create something called uh, remote records where I from one business central can can read data from another business central uh, from, from one environment I can read from another environment, one tenant, another tenant, stuff like that. Um, and by the way, that since it's about 140 times faster than what you saw in the video, so it, it's actually usable now, and I'm just kind of cleaning it up before it gets into uh, into the toolbox for, for probably release at some point. Anyway, sidetrack, um, uh, but, but I have my... Um, have some code here and, and we can use that to play with. So I have somewhere fired up chat GPT. Uh, this is not a paid version because it's a bit faster, but it's turbo mode. Um, so here goes nothing. Well, here goes a lot. So let's say here, here's a function. A, uh, we can see that this is a uh, procedure um that will take a field ref to a blob field and then it will return a base 64 string of, of the content of the blob field so let's put that into the clipboard and go to our friend here and say um please write because we are polite up here in canada uh, please write documentation for this al function i paste the function in hit enter this al function takes a blob binary lights object field reference and converts content to a wow to a base 64 encoded string it turns the resulting string the function first retrieves the blob data from the field reference by using a temporary blob object which is then converted into an input string. It then uses a built-in base64 convert code unit to convert the data into a base64 encoded string. The function takes one input parameter, parameter which is a reference to a blob field to be converted. This parameter is passed by a reference to allow the function to modify the reference field. The function returns a text value representing the base64 encoded string of the blob field. That is pretty good. This is this is the the turbo version. Um, actually, let's try the let's try another one and go with the default plus version. So I'll I'll do this again and say uh, this time we're not polite. Write documentation for this al function. Paste in the function. See, the turbo version was different. So now we're getting a, a proper formatted convert blob, blah, blah. Let's see. The convert blob is function is a local procedure in AL that converts a blob field in a record to base 64 encoder string representation. Input. The input. So the function is a single parameter field ref of type field ref. The field ref parameter is a reference to a blob field that needs to be converted to a basic for a string output. The output of the function is a single value of type text, which is the base 64 encoded string. Do do. Functionality: the function uses temp blob and base 64 convert code units to perform the conversion. 
the Templar dot from record of is called with the f an argument. Uh, we use create and string. Finally, well, <laughs> there's basically three lines of code in this function. Uh, example usage here is an example of how to use to convert. Um, we get a so so this this is still now it says that this is SQL. Uh, so again, this is where it's not really fully up to pair, um, but but it tries. So get a customer, uh, and then something weird happens. Feel so so. This example is, is useless, um, but it tries. Uh, and, and basically this line would be correct, but, but all this is wrong. But even with, without the example, uh, this is pretty nice. Let, let's, so clearly there's a difference between the, the the turbo version gives it so that's like two different versions of the chat GPT. Let's just rename this one to turbo and this one to plus. Since I paid for this, I don't no longer have the free version, so I don't know if, if that's what's the difference between the free version and the plus version. So uh, somebody in comments below if if you want to try some of these things. Let's grab another function. Let's grab another function. Um, how about how about ref to JSON? No, I want the, I, I want something that's that's. Uh, let's see. Uh, how about this one? This one is good. This is JSON to ref. So this one is a function that takes a record encoded in in json and returns a record ref yeah let's try this one in the plus version please doc please write document documentation i can't even spell anymore documentation for this al function i wonder if i had to tell it that it's al anyway here goes. Rest to JSON function. The rest to JSON function is a local procedure in AL that maps data from a JSON object to a record in a Dynamics 365 database. Function takes two parameters input JREC of type JSON, a JSON object containing the data that needs to be mapped to record, and ref of type record ref, a reference to the record where the data from the JSON object needs to be mapped. The output, the function does not return a value, so it actually figures out that there's no, no return value of this. The data from JSON object is directly mapped to the record in, well, that's kind of wrong. Functionality, and then it, the for each loop is loops to iterate over the keys of the JSON object. Even though this is typically me sloppy variable names uh, for each K in keys, it figures out. Um, evaluate function used to extract the field number from the key name. Ref the field exists method used to check if a field with the extracted field number exists in the record. If the field exists, then the ref field method is used to get a reference to the field and JREC method. The assign to value, the assign value to field function is then used to assign the value from the JSON object. As an example, and now it thinks this is CSS. JSON <laughs> um, data from, well, the intent is actually good enough in, 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 the, in the code, but it's still gibberish. In this example, blah, 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 yeah. So it does understand that, you know, this is by ref. Perhaps, um, what happens if we we ask it the same thing again? All right, hang on, wow. If we ask it again, I guess we can just edit this one. 
and remember that var indicate a parameter passed by reference so it can work as a return value also. Let's remind it. Oops, hang on. How do I do this? Save and submit. JSON is function. So it keeps saying local function because it has it is a local function, right? Uh, that converts a JSON object to a record in the database. The input to a function is the same thing. The function does not modify a re return a value, but it modifies the rest parameter to contain the data. <laughs> it's still gibberish code it's writing in some cases. So the example is So could we just actually let's go back here and then Also, please omit the the code example. Just describe how the function can be used. Save and submit. Get all the usual stuff. So, so it likes. So, so here, here's the thing that that you see the sub evaluate field number from key dot substring two, meaning that it has no, it can't figure out. So, so the key is like an F, and then the field number. Um, so therefore, we just ignore whatever is in the first character and, and evaluate what's from the second character uh, and and forward. Um, so it hasn't really got. Okay, so we it still wanted to do the do the example. Okay, uh, let's do one more. How about let's go? Let's try a big one. Assign value to field. Uh, this one is longer. Um, where are we? Uh, right, whoops, right documentation for this L function. Assigns value to a field and record. The value is passed as a JSON token and the field is passed as a field ref. The function takes two parameters input. FR, this is the field ref. Um, represent the field and record that needs to be updated with the value. FT, this is a JSON token. Uh, type parameter represents the value that needs to be assigned to the field. The function uses a case statement to determine the type of the field represented by fr and assign the value 
Got sent by FT to the field based on its type. Um, what happened? Uh, can you? So, so again, this is. It's pretty good. Um, can you write a con concise summary of that? Oops. The assign, assign value to field function is a nail procedure that takes a JSON token and a field ref as input and assigns the value from the JSON token to the field represented by the field ref. The function uses a case statement to determine the type of the field and extract the value from the JSON token using the appropriate method based on the field type. The extracted value is then assigned to the field using the fr.value property. The function can handle various field types, including text, boolean, dates, decimal props, etc. Bingo. I don't know what to say. This is this is actually, of course, you cannot blind copy stuff. Like you need to make sure that what's written makes sense. Um, but but actually, so bonus content can you let's let's go back and so what I wanted to do here, I want to find. One of the functions with me doing sloppy names. Um, can you refactor this AL function with better vari variable variable names? What about please refactor? Other question. Let's do it. So hang on. This was JSON to ref. Um, yeah. Maybe you wouldn't doubt, never have a uh, you know use of reserved word. As, as a variable name, but again, now I think it's this is VP net, so <laughs> we need to somehow make this uh, know that AL is actually a language. Um, anyway, sorry, that was that was total bonus uh, content. I'm sorry about that. Now we almost on 19 minutes. Thanks for, for watching. Um, Please subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. Um, this is what we do on this channel. Um, funky stuff with AL. And uh, if you want to see more, check out this video filled with AL goodies. Just for you. See you there. Take care. Bye.